Okay, we've done the power wash grease on the stove top. We learned that it does create a film on it. I don't like it. We've done the grease on the uh, on the rusty not the grease. We've done the spray on the rusty uh, cookie sheet. We like that. It's good, clean. We've done the spray on a greasy pan. Works good. Let it sit. I don't think we've done a greasy lid. So, greasy lid. Spray it. Power wash, you know. Done. Power wash. Let it sit for a minute. Now we wipe it down with a dry rag. This is hard to do one-handed. But you can see here, all that greasiness is coming super easy. Let me do this not one-handed. That's the chop. I haven't sprayed it down yet, so let's do that. Give it a good coating, why not? All right, and we'll let that sit for a few, couple of minutes. In the meantime, hi there, welcome to my kitchen. For today, we're making steak quesadillas. It's Tuesday, which means tacos, or in our case, some sort of Mexican. So, Tex-Mex, white people Mexican food. You know what I'm saying, because I'm not Mexican, so it's not authentic. Anyways, steak, chopped up. We get this stuff from, uh, I forgot. What store did you go to for the meat? Patricia. Patricia's, which is somewhere, I don't know. Just, my it's near the house. And so they sell like a bunch of stuff that's like that shredded steak or chicken and all that kind of other stuff. It's already prepared like this at a good price and stuff. And so we use it because it's good and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. All right, round it up. Back at the sink to wipe down the lid. There's my lid. Let's wipe it. Wipe. <laughs> okay. Super easy comes off. No greasiness. Just wipe it off. Then you rinse. And it's all nice and shiny and new. Hello. The burn mark. Look at that. I didn't do the edges. Those are still kind of greasy. But everything else is new. Clean and shiny. Alright, so. You want to make sure that when you set up your station or when you're browning your meat, you set up your station so you're ready for a smooth transition from the stove to the plate. So this is how I set it up. This is the one I'm making, the, putting the tortillas in. So I go tortilla, meat, cheese, fold. This is how I do it. I don't flip Put another one on and then flip it. Is this, we got these ones. It's too big to do that. Don't don't stress yourself out. All right, so this pan is nice and hot. Very hot. Yes. Okay. Hey, yeah. Okay, so. First, stop. Put that in. Then you scoop it. Scoop that in on one side. Your your doodad. Now, if you don't want to use a spoon, I think I'm going to use a different thing. Yeah, like that. And you take your cheese, you sprinkle your cheese on top. However much cheese you think you're going to need, that much should be enough. I'll put some back. Then you take this half and fold it over. See how fast I have to do that, otherwise your tortilla shell gets crispy and you can't fold it. Okay, we'll fold it like that. Smush it down, just make sure it gets all stuck. 
see it's all stuck. That's great. Then we're going to flip it over. Ta-da! Just like that. For a few seconds. Just so that one's also crispy on that side. This is your tortilla. Your tortilla, your quesadilla. See? Do it like that. It's crispy fried. It's good. So there. That's that's it. Real quick. It's real quick. See that? See? Excellent. So we're gonna do that again. Okay. So I'm gonna get a different scoopy. I don't like how that one works. Okay, let's use uh, the tongs. Tong, ta -ta -tong, tongs. Okay. And then, so I need my right hand. Oops. Okay. Alright, so again, that is tortilla. This is on a medium heat, so you don't want to go too high. Tortilla, right? Meat, perfect, excellent. Meat, come on. Like that. Mm -hmm. Then cheese. We'll sprinkle of cheese. Then you flip it. You see how it's bubbling up? That's going to be a problem if I don't do it quick enough. Flip it. Squish it down. Squishy, squish, squish. Just make sure it's sealed. Make sure it's sealed and squish it. There we go, there we go, there we go. Excellent. See that? See that? What's it take? Like 30 seconds of that to make one? Done. Done, done, done. Bring it on over. Ta da! Let's see? Two. Feels good. Alright, we've made the quesadillas. Now we need to make the dip. How do you make the dip? Sour cream and taco seasoning. Just about like that. Mix it up. See, this is what they look like. This is your craft section. Here's your dip. Try it out. This is not my first quesadilla rodeo. Mmm. -hmm. Good stuff. Good evening. Thus concludes your Tuesday. Tuesday day. Uh, yeah. So, steak quesadillas. And I'm pretty sure that was the highlight of the day. Have a great night. Tomorrow is Wednesday. See you tomorrow. Toodles.